Hello, beautiful souls, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name's Terry. I'm an intuitive tarot reader, message bearer, and light worker. Today's reading is a yes or no pick a card. So please hold your question in your mind, focus on it, ask your angels, ask your spirit guides, and let them use your intuition with you to guide you towards your pile. Um, if you need assistance, then I will lead a short breathing meditation here in just a second, and that'll help you with pile selection. But for those of you who have got the intuition thing, this is pile number one, pile number two, pile number three, pile number four, pile number five, pile number six, and pile number seven. You can go ahead and select your pile and jump to the timestamp in the description and comments below. And I'll see you in the reading. For everyone who would like help with their intuition, let's begin by closing your eyes. Take a slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three, Slowly release, letting your cares and worries float out of your body on your breath. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release, letting your question take shape in your mind. Ask your spirit guides and your angels to lead you to the pile with the correct answer to your question. Another slow, deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. A number between one and seven may appear in your mind or you may see with your third eye one of the crystals. If you do, select that pile. If not, one more slow deep breath in. Hold for three seconds. One, two, three. Slowly release. Now when you're ready, open your eyes and select the pile that calls out to you the most. Trust your first instincts. That's your intuition. For reminders, this is pile one, pile two, pile three, pile four, pile five, pile six, and pile seven. Go ahead and select your pile, then jump to the timestamp in the comments and description below, and I'll see you in the reading. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number one with the Rhodochrosite crystal. I hope I'm saying that right. This crystal brings you the message to remember your worth. So that is the message that comes with your crystal. Now let's take a look at your tarot and then we'll have some advice cards at the end. So for your yes or no, there'll be the Knight of Coins the Three of Swords, and the Eight of Cups. All right, this looks like a no to the question that you were asking. Now, the Knight of Coins talks about wise investments and more money coming through work. The Three of Swords talks about heartbreak, sorrow, and betrayal. And the Eight of Cups represents a natural ending and possibly travel. So you may have asked about anything here that's really diverse about, you know, what, what it covers. And you could have asked really anything in that genre. But it, it looks like a no to your specific question. So it's important to remember the way you ask your question so that, uh, so that you get a clear yes or no regarding the situation. Now for clarification on your Knight of Coins, 
we have the Four of Wands, and then the Three of Cups for the Three of Swords. Okay. And then the Five of Cups for the Eight of Cups. Okay. So the Four of Wands clarifying the Knight of Coins. Okay, so the Four of Wands in this position represents freedom and success and openness. It could be a happy home or the honeymoon period in a relationship. But then you have the Three of Swords coming out. And that's sorrow, betrayal, loss. And clarifying that, you've got the Three of Cups, which is normally about celebrations, but can also signify pregnancy and birth. And or birth. And then to clarify the natural ending that we've got going on in the Eight of Cups, uh, whether it's a departure, um, the ending of something, it, uh, it can also signify that the time is right to go with the flow and, and make a move. But clarifying that, we have the Five of Cups, which is a depression, sadness, loss. I'm really sensing that some of you, um, this is regarding a pregnancy. Because this, it's, it, it almost looks unplanned. No, for some of you it was unplanned, and for some of you it was a loss. But uh, this this definitely feels pregnancy related for a lot of you. The answer is no to whatever you asked. So it doesn't necessarily have to be that, but there's there's a lot of energy here. You know, someone that's watching this is is suffering because they uh, they got pregnant and that caused their significant other to leave them. And so I just want you to know you need to remember your worth, whoever that is for, whoever that message is for. Remember your worth. Everything is going to be okay. Now let's take a look at your advice cards from the Moonology deck. You got communication is key, new moon in Gemini, so definitely communicate with your support team if you're feeling this depression right here. So if this depression is, is representing you, then, then talk to your support team. And that could be your soul family. That could be your actual family. That could be your best friend. You know, talk to somebody because communication is key. Now for the power of love activation deck, you get evolution you realize that obstacles are merely lessons on your path to love. And that is so true, especially for those of you that are, that are suffering with that specific situation. Um, this is your evolution. I, I feel like, like this loss was significant. For some of you, it was that you were pregnant and you lost the baby. And I'm so sorry for, for those that had this one happen that way. But, uh, but realize that you are evolving and you are going to find love and light and you're going to embody those things. So it is going to be okay. And your final piece of advice from the spirit guides is to set your intentions. So it feels like some of you were asking, hey, am I pregnant after all of that stuff has happened in the past? And the answer is no, not right now. So you set that intention for those of you that are trying to conceive. Set that intention that you will. And it will work for you. You are evolving into the loving being that uh, that we're all supposed to be, that we're all destined to become. You know, the embodiment of love. That is all of our goal. So set your intention and everything's going to work out okay. All right. Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. 
Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile two with this angelite. Your message from this crystal is support is all around you. So when times seem rough, just remember support has got you. Now let's take a look at your yes or no. You start with the seven of swords, followed by the three of coins and death. All right, this is a no. We have the uh, Seven of Swords here representing theft or underhanded business dealings. And then we have the Three of Coins talking about recognition for your hard work. And we have the Death card. And death is not actual death. It is... Um, it's the start of something new because something ended. So whatever you asked, it does look like your answer is a no. Now let's get clarification. On the Seven of Swords, you get the Eight of Wands. On the Three of Coins, you get the Ten of Cups. And on Death, you get the Five of Swords. Okay, so starting with your Eight of Wands, clarifying the Seven of Swords, You've got underhanded business dealings, but this Eight of Wands is fast moving situations. So that means this energy, whoever it's affecting, however it's affecting you, um, it's gonna be fast moving, so you're gonna get through it quickly. And then you have the Ten of Cups on your Three of Coins. This was recognition for your hard work. And this is a happy home. It's, it's a beautiful energy of, it, it could even be a new home. But, uh, but it's definitely a happy one. So this is the, the energy that your hard work is rewarding you with. Now, the start of something new, we have the Five of Swords clarifying the death card. So something is ending for the beginning of something new. Now, our Five of Swords kind of shows family conflicts or work conflicts or relationship conflicts that cause stress. It can also signify being in a no-win situation though and um, kind of telling you to get out. And that coming out on the death card really means something, I think, something unhealthy for you is gonna be ending and, uh, and whatnot. But whatever you asked, your answer was no. There's a lot of positivity with your no. It's like, it almost feels like no, that could be a, uh, like maybe no about the way you asked it or no for right now is kind of the energy that's with it. Now let's look at your Moonology card. You get confidence is your key to success. New Moon in Leo. So whatever you're wanting, whatever you were hoping you would get out of this if you were hoping for a yes just remember that confidence is your key to success you have this work that you're putting in and you have this happy home life so yeah some some looks like some bad things have happened and definitely something is ending but you still have this solid foundation so bring your confidence to the table and you can succeed at anything you want now, for your Power of Love activation deck, it's detachment. You are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideals of love. And that sounds like, you know, something ending for something new. That's, you know, releasing old patterns. It's, it's the ending that is going to be very beneficial to you. Now, for your spirit guide message, you got give without expectation. That is such good advice. You know, we all give, but when you give so that you can get something back, it's not with your whole heart. It's, you know, expecting a return. 
And when you give with your heart freely, then the universe returns in such a fabulous way. So give without expectation. Now, that is all the messages I have for pile number two. Thank you for choosing me as your tarot reader and for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number three with this Lemurian quartz. Your message from the quartz crystal, this, this particular crystal, is to practice patience. So patience is sometimes difficult for all of us, but, uh, but definitely there's something in your life that, uh, that's requesting some patience. Now for your yes or no, you get the two of cups, the 10 of swords and the king of cups. Okay. So this looks like a yes, but the timing may not be quite exactly what you're asking. Um, you know, if you asked, will this happen in a week? Will this happen in a month? Your timing is, is off a little bit, but, but it does look like a yes. Now the two of cups shows harmonious partnerships and love and um, collaborative projects. It is, it, it can represent finding and committing to a soulmate or just the, the basic energy of reconciliation and peace. And then you have this 10 of swords, which signifies an inevitable ending that may be shocking, but is definitive. There's gonna be an ending. Um, this can be releasing you from some form of agreement. It is um, possibly releasing you from some form of relationship whether it's a work relationship, whether it's a fun relationship, something is ending, um, but you will have the energy to move on with it. And you've got this beautiful King of Cups energy coming in, which is love and generosity and support. Now let's look at your clarification cards for this. For the Two of Cups, you get the Four of Coins. For the Ten of Swords, you get the Ten of Wands. Wow, so you got two tens on top of each other now. And for the King of Cups, you get the Knight of Cups. All right. So for clar clarification on the Two of Cups, which was finding a soulmate, um, it's just a really beautiful, harmonious energy, uh, you get the Six of Coins, which is someone giving you a gift whether it is a gift of financial, material, there's a gift somewhere in here. And then you have this 10 of wands on the uh, clarifying the 10 of swords. So that's great. You know, this is the inevitable ending of something. And this 10 of wands represents the feeling of being overwhelmed, the feeling of having so much to do that you just can't get it all done. And you can't even really focus on any of it because there's so much. And so maybe this energy is going to be what's ending for you. Now, with the King of Cups being clarified by the Knight of Cups, the King of Cups was love, generosity, warmth, sociability. And the Knight of Cups is romance, a proposal, you know, a, a really emotional, dreamy time in your life. It could represent new friends, um... So that is kind of the energy that's coming from the specific cards of your yes or no. But this was a yes, just your timing is not quite right. Now from the Moonology deck, you get nothing is yet set in stone. Okay. So like I said, it looks like a yes, but nothing is set in stone. Everything can change. So uh, just keep that in mind with the uh, mutable moon there. Now, for your Power of Love activation deck, you got respect. You value everyone's unique perspective on the path to love. That is so important to, um, to realize that we all have different opinions and we can respect everyone's opinion. That is a, uh, is a huge thing. So 
whether that is something you've practiced and are fantastic at and that's why it's coming out or if it's something that you need to work on you know respect is is a huge part of what we're learning here and finally from the uh, spirit guides you get ask for guidance and uh, and that's really that's kind of what you've done here today by selecting a, a yes or no tarot and continue to ask them for guidance ask them what to do which way to go um, use tarot as your tool use your intuition as your tool and and talk to your spirit guides and and ask them which way to go but definitely you um, you got a positive most definitely it looks like a yes, although with this nothing is yet set in stone. I I think I'm going to say the timing is definitely off of how you asked your question, if you have timing in your question. And if you don't, then, uh, then nothing is set in stone. So you still have work that needs to be done for whatever you're asking about. All right. Well, thank you for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number four. With this fluorite, the message you receive from this crystal is to find peace within. So if you're searching for peace because you can't find it, you definitely need to look inside because that's where peace comes from. Now, for your yes or your no, we'll look at the first three cards. You got the five of coins, the chariot, and the queen of swords. All right, so this looks like a yes, but there's going to be some added anxiety or um, fear or something involved in it that you're not really looking at just yet. You've got this five of coins. This is fear of poverty. It's not actual poverty, just the fear of it. And, um, and so you, you have gotten a yes, but it's, it's going to include whatever you're asking about. There's going to be a level of fear or anxiety that's included in it that maybe you're not really thinking about. Now, the chariot is all about progress and determination. It can signify new work, new homes, new relationships, uh, new journeys, so travel. It's also very fast moving. And then you have the queen of swords. The queen of swords is strength and intelligence. It can represent you as the... Um, independent business leader, you know, the, uh, the small business owner or the single parent or the responsibility dominant parent. Um, so you may fall into one of those categories, but, uh, but you got a yes. It's just, there's some fear and anxiety involved when it's involved in it. So you need to find your peace from inside you. Now, for clarification on the five of coins, you get justice, so it's saying balance. For clarification on the chariot, you get the tower. Wow. Wow, you've got a lot of major arcana. So you asked about something that was very significant, at least most of you. The uh, queen of swords is being clarified by the empress. So looking at your clarification cards, you're afraid of poverty but it can be resolved by finding some balance. And, um, and legal issues are gonna be resolved. For those of you who this fear of poverty is legal issues related, you've got the justice coming out, so as long as there's not a karmic factor involved, you should come out on top with the, with the um, legal issue. Now, for the chariot, this is progress and, you know, really moving forward in your affairs and new relationships, new, new everything. And the clarification on this is there's going to be tower moments to get here. 
So the chariot moves fast. The tower moments should probably come fast. But the tower is something ending for the start of something new. So whatever new thing you're getting, whatever's coming in with this chariot, whatever you have now that would stand in the way of that is going to crumble. But that's okay because something new and better is going to come in. Now for the Queen of Swords, where you get your strength, intelligence, you have that being clarified by the Empress. The Empress is about fertility. It is about motherhood. It is about, you know, um, your sustainable earthly needs being taken care of. So really, this is a very beautiful reading and you got a, a yes. So you just need to find that peace inside you. Now for your Moonology card, it says nothing will come of this situation. Void of course moon. All right. So I think that this is specific to this five of coins right over here. When it says nothing will come of this situation because your fear is what's impacting everything. You know, it could be your fear, it could be the legal issues for some of you, but nothing is going to, nothing is gonna come out of this. You're gonna be fine. You're gonna end up in this Empress energy, which is just beautiful. Now, for your Power of Love activation deck, you get forgiveness. You are now able to activate the Power of Love in order to release past hurts. Okay, well that is, that's very nice. Um, hopefully it's something that you're already able to do really easily as opposed to advice because forgiveness is sometimes really hard when you've been really hurt. But this is saying that if you, you may be a master at forgiveness and can forgive anything, but if you struggle with forgiveness, then just remember that love will overshadow past hurts. So throw love at it and see what happens. Now your final card is from the spirit guides and it says, follow the golden rule. Okay, the golden rule is do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. So definitely this anxiety and whatnot that's coming through here, you, and with the, the new situations, if this is new relationships, whatever it is, follow the golden rule and treat people the way you would have them treat you. That is, um, that's always a good policy because then you're putting out into the universe things that you would like to receive back and that's how the universe works. So either way, you've gotten a yes to your question Thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected Pile 5 with this lapidolite. This message is from the crystal is to recall your dreams so there is something in your dreams that you really need to pay attention to so pay attention to your dreams now let's like take a look at your yes or your no you got the palace of coins the six of swords and the hanging man all right so you got a maybe <laughs> you've got the palace of coins which represents financial stability and kind of like, you know, your place and energy of the coin pentacles energy where your home is. And, uh, and it looks really beautiful, financially stable. So this, this card is a positive. And then you have the six of swords, which represents moving on from testing, but, uh, but in a yes or no, it's a negative card. And then you have the hanging man, which represents possibly needing a new perspective or, you know, sacrificing yourself for, for something that you believe in, but mostly a new perspective and, uh, and it's neutral. So what you've gotten is a maybe, or the answer is unknown right at this moment. Now let's get clarification about your situation. For the Palace of Coins, you get the Three of Wands, 
for the six of swords, you get the king of coins. Okay, so this is a really nice energy. It's almost like um, an unknown. Yeah, it's an unknown because there's factors in it like this seven of wands. So we'll start here. The, uh, the palace of coins is uh, representing all of your physical material needs. And the Three of Wands comes out to clarify. So the Three of Wands is a really positive card. It's about good fortune and it can even mean travel. So, you know, this is a very positive, stable energy. For the Six of Swords, you get the King of Coins coming out. The King of Coins represents prosperity and protection. It says that your financial problems are solved and and that's you know a really very positive positive energy and then you've got the hanging man saying you need a different perspective and the seven of wands coming out saying that this new perspective is going to take sustained effort it's going to take endurance you're going to have to defend your position um, you may have to stand up for others as well so it just it really looks unknown at this point for whatever you ask for I would suggest giving it a couple days and then choosing another yes or no and asking the question again and seeing if maybe the progress, you know, try taking a different position during the waiting period, you know, and it doesn't have to be long, you know, it can be tomorrow, the next day, but just try to have a new perspective about whatever situation you've asked about and then get another reading that's yes or no and, and see what it says. Now, for the Moonology deck, you got your hard work is paying off. New Moon in Capricorn. And that is true. Financial wise, you look solid. So if your question was about something financial, there's, there's definitely a positive financial aspect to this. You've got the Palace of Coins and the King of Coins. Your finances look like they're going to be just fine. Now, for the Power of Love activation deck, you got compassion. You demonstrate the language of the heart by actively sharing and living love. So that is beautiful. And if that is not something that is already second nature for you, maybe that's where this new perspective is coming in. Try looking at your situation through the glasses of compassion for everyone involved and see what ideas you come up with and then turn to tarot again in a couple of days and ask your question again now your final card is from your spirit guides and it says accept struggles as lessons so this could be that uh, that whatever tests you're passing on from here with the six of swords just look back at them and see the goodness because every struggle you have in your life there is a goodness there's something that you learn there's something that it does that's good, even horrible things. So really just look for the tiny silver lining around your struggles and focus on that silver lining until your mood brightens and your vibration heightens to a new level. And that way you you rise you raise your vibration so that your life kind of pans out a little bit and you'll get this different perspective all right well also don't forget to recall your dreams look at your dreams something about this is in your dreams so definitely pay attention to what's happening in your literal dreams all right thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button i really appreciate it until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number six with the citrine crystal. This crystal's message for you is to bring in the light. This is the light of the divine. This is the light of your angels. This is the light inside you. So just open yourself to the light and let it shine in. Now for your yes or no, you get the emperor, the two of swords, and the six of wands. 
All right, this looks like most likely a yes. You have the emperor coming out and that is leadership and power and strength. Then you have this two of swords. The two of swords is a stalemate. This card generally represents in a reading that the answer is not known. So for some of you, the answer is unknown, but for a lot of you, the answer is yes. Now for this six of wands, this is victory. This is success. This is celebrating your triumphs. So it, it is a very positive reading. It's just, there's a stalemate somewhere in here. It's um, kind of a nobody wins situation somewhere involved in what some of you are asking about. But otherwise, it's a yes. Now, clarification on the Emperor is the Palace of Wands. That is beautiful. The Palace of Wands is about um, wand energy. It's not in a standard tarot deck. So it is... Um, oh, you got the Palace of Cups, too. Okay, so your Palace cards are not standard cards in a tarot deck. There's one for each suit in this particular tarot of dreams and somehow in six cards, you've tripped two palace cards. So the palace cards is like the energy of that suit being kind of wrapped around you. And so for the, the palace of wands, this is passion and excitement and energy and just movement and progress, you know? And then for the Palace of Cups, this is emotion and looking inward and really considering and seeing how you feel and what you're thinking. Now, for the Palace of Wands to be on the Emperor, this is your leadership, this is your initiative, and it's just saying that there's all this passion and energy behind it. So that's beautiful. Now, the Stalemate card, the Two of Swords, is being clarified by the hermit. The hermit is solitude. It's, you know, kind of withdrawing. And normally there is a productive solitude involved in the hermit card. So while you're alone, you're doing something productive. But with it clarifying this stalemate here, I think that some of you are very, um, not, less social. Let's say, let's put it that way. You're less social. You'd rather stay home. You'd rather not go out. And for some of what you're trying to do, you need to really be social. So, uh, so that is the clarification on the two of swords. Now the emotions coming out on the six of wands just means that you're going to be successful, but you need to make sure you know what you want. And you need to look at what you want more than just a physical level. You need to look at it from a physical level, a spiritual level, an emotional level, and make sure it's actually what's best for you. Now, but you did get a yes, except for a very select few of you who are in a stalemate situation. And you know if you're in a stalemate situation. And for those people, the answer is not known but the uh, Moonology deck comes out and says, step out of your comfort zone with the North Node. So stepping out of your comfort zone is hard, but you can do it. And generally it brings wonderful things. And definitely with the Hermit coming out and you, a lot of you being kind of, um, kind of secluded from society, this is saying step out of that comfort zone and into the limelight because you have success waiting on you. Now, your power of love activation deck says purpose. You possess the determination and dedication to consciously demonstrate love. So yeah, you need to step out of your comfort zone and step into your purpose because your purpose is beautiful. And you can still have who you are when you step into your purpose. Your purpose is to embody love. That's the purpose for everyone. However we get, get there, our purpose is to really embody love and freedom. And you just need to step into that. Now, your final message is from the Spirit Guides, and it says you are never alone. And that is so true. You are never alone. You always have 
your soul team with you, your angels, your spirit guides, your ancestors, you know, the divine looking out for you. So you're never alone. So don't be afraid of this two of swords, whatever this is. This could be an anxiety energy for, for the people who are not in a stalemate. And you don't have to be afraid of this because you have success and victory out in your future. All right, well, thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye. Hello to all you beautiful souls who selected pile number seven with this tiger's eye crystal. This crystal sends you the message to overcome your fears. So whatever fear is stopping you from living your dreams, from pursuing your passion, that's the fear you need to overcome. All right, so for your yes or you no, know, you get strength. Ooh, and the world, wow, major arcana. And the six of cups. So this is a definite solid yes. With the strength card, it's exactly that. It can sometimes denote patience and endurance. Um, it can even symbolize good health. It definitely says you are willing to stand your ground. Now, next out is the world. The world is completion and success. That's why all the elements are there. That's why the fool is there. That's you coming into your success. And then the Six of Cups is reminiscing. It's looking back and saying, wow, look where I was and look where I am now. So definite yes, and it's very positive. Now, for your clarification on the Strength card, you get the King of Wands. Wow, that's very strong energy. And on the World, you get the Priestess. Okay, so some of you delving into your psychic powers. And then the Page of Cups is coming out to clarify the Six of Cups. So this is just lovely. Your King of Wands on the Strength symbolizes self-expression. So you've got endurance and self-expression here. Um, regarding new projects, you know, you can, you can start something and people will follow you. You know, they'll, they'll jump on board because it's great. Um, this has an energy that's just very dynamic and free spirited and non-judgmental. So that is clarifying your strength. And then for the world, which was completion and success, you have the priestess. The priestess is the card of the psychic. It is the card of, you know, using your intuition and, you know, honing your skills so that you can use your skills to serve others as well. And you are, you're coming into completion for that. So that's beautiful. And then the page of cups is fun and socializing and really just, you know, in enjoying life. And that is coming out to clarify the Six of Cups. So you're gonna have enjoyment that makes you wanna look back and say, hey, that was so much fun. So that's beautiful. Now for your Moonology advice, it says emotions are running high. Okay, so definitely with this, overcome your fears and emotions are running high. There is, there's a lot of major arcana here. This is major things are going on in your life. You feel like you need tons of strength for something. And so just take a few deep breaths is, is really what this super moon is telling you. Take a few deep breaths. Now for the power of love activation deck, you got unity. You understand that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. That is uh, true and beautiful. And really it's this card coming up for you. Either you're a master at this and you realize that everything you do has an effect on everyone else, or it's saying to realize that others impact you and you impact others. As you go through this this change in your life, this completion phase where you need all the strength. Now, 
for your spirit guide messages in your last card, it says stay open-minded. That is really clarifying your overcome your fears. Stay open-minded, get past your fears. This is such a strong reading. You, you really are in touch with your intuition and you have this passionate energy and all of this fun to look forward to. So just overcome your fears, step out of your emotions for a minute and keep your mind open and you got a yes. So thank you so much for choosing me as your tarot reader today. Thank you for clicking the like and subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Until next time, love, light, courage, and strength to each and every one of you. Bye-bye.